Hey Mountain Family, how's it going? So, you're not going to believe this. I've got a story for you guys. The um, past couple of days have been just a whirlwind of event after event after drama after another event. So, I've been very, very busy and I just haven't been able to vlog until today because I've been taking care of the thing I'm about to show you guys, mostly. But um, i got to tell you a story before I actually show it to you. Okay, so yesterday, I'm sitting on this couch. Oh, I can't even show you. What is? What am I doing? Here I am trying to show you the couch. Uh, I'm sitting on the couch over there, and all of a sudden I start hearing this loud, like, popping, snapping kind of-ish noise, and I, I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, maybe Dev is upstairs working on something or something like that. I did not realize that he had already left for work. So, I mean, the man said bye to me. I should have known, but I didn't know he had left right, right that second. So, uh, I go to the entryway over here, I'll show you in just a second, and this is what I found. So, this is the entryway wall. Now, when we moved here, we were told that there was water damage that had happened before we even moved in because uh, the pipes above the, uh, on the ceiling up there had leaked. And you can see because there's water lines down the, the wood. So, we were told before we moved in that this was taken care of. And, well, to a degree, that was sort of true. It was like a half truth because... The plumbing was fixed, sort of. There is still a leak right here that has thankfully been fixed. But, um, I mean, even that was a problem when we got here. But, let me talk about this wall. Because of the water damage, this wall is now very weak. And there's a lot of rotted wood back there. I'll show you in just a second. And yesterday, the popping and snapping noise that I heard was this wall shifting. Like, I'll show you the new damage. There is now, I think it's right here. You see these lines right here? That's all new. And it goes all the way up. Um, you can't really tell. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera. Oh, yes you can. You see how that wall is now shifting backwards? Yeah, that's brand new. That did not, that was not there the day before yesterday. So this whole wall is in an angle now. Let me see, let me move my camera so I can hopefully show you guys. So where it was sitting like this, it's now sitting like this. So the front right here is tilted forward and the back back there is tilted back and there's now a nice big hole right here. Yeah, so we have a new hole right here. We have a new hole right here, right there. That didn't exist before. And this hole, it didn't get much better. You can see the rotted wood that is behind that. We honestly thought that he would take care of this like a long time ago. It's June and we thought this would get taken care of in March and he still hasn't done it because his dad put this wall up and he's very emotionally attached to it. And you know, it's his, his dad put it there, but it's water damage. So this is what we've been dealing with and hopefully it's getting fixed soon. And um, this wall will be you know, fix. I'm kind of worried though, because if the wall just suddenly just falls, then the ceiling's going to fall and like the whole house is going to come down <laughs> in a sense, like sort of like this entryway will like this, whole, the, the ceiling will come down a little, all of that wood that's back there, that'll come down. I mean, Oh, I can't even imagine how much mess that would make. Oh man. Yeah. Okay. So that's, that's one of the things that we have been dealing with yesterday and lately. Oh, and as if that wasn't bad enough, let me show you the bathroom floor downstairs next to the laundry room. Let me show you that. Okay, now here's the story with the uh, bathroom floor over here. Okay, this toilet is new. Um, we had There was a different toilet before we moved in here, and that toilet was uh, cracked back there. So every time you flushed it, it would leak water and it took a little bit of time for our landlord to fix it. So every time you would flush it, and, and I mean, we, once we noticed it, we turned off the water to the toilet so it wouldn't leak anymore, but we didn't, oh, watch out baby. But um, we 
didn't even notice that it was really leaking water until I think a good month since we've been here. And apparently it had been leaking for a while because this wood right here is all very, very weak. And I tried to tell our landlord that like two months ago and he said um, that a repair guy that was here had told him that the glue underneath this linoleum is just, that's just what it was. It wasn't actually the wood that was weak, it was just the glue. And wouldn't you know it, I was right. <laughs> the repair guy was not. And there is now holes in this floor. I was wearing heels the other day because Devin was going to take me out to celebrate my birthday. That's one heel. This is the other heel. I was standing on the floor and I just, boom, went right through. And those are the two heel marks. And um, Devin was using the bathroom also and his right foot was over there. And now there's a giant hole over there. And there's also one right here. You can't really see it. So there's one, two, three, four really big holes. <laughs> Carly, you put her sandals on with her PJs. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> anyway. There are um, four really big holes in the floor now, and all that black stuff you see, that is, I think, mold or something. Maybe it's not mold. I don't know what it is. I just know that every time I mop, I cannot get it off. I mop, and I mop, and I mop, and it will not come off. So, I don't know if it's mold. I just know it won't come off. So, that is our drama with the bathroom floor and Carly's pretty sandals with her <laughs> pajamas. <laughs> You're too cute. Okay, careful. Car Carly, careful. So I want to give you guys a heads up. If for some reason I do not vlog this week, it's not because I don't want to. It's because there's somebody here fixing the house. <laughs> and I just don't know how comfortable the guy's going to be being on camera. I mean, that's kind of like the, a problem that you run into when you're from a small town and you are a vlogger. People aren't used to cameras being in their face. <laughs> it kind of sucks because when you're in public you get a lot of stares. I mean it's different if you live in like California which seems to be like the vlogging state of the United States. <laughs> um, but I mean I just don't think the person's going to be very comfortable being on camera. So if I miss a day that's probably what's going on or um, I'm having an episode uh, but you guys already know about that. I don't vlog because I don't want to, but you already know this. So anyway, I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow. I wanted to catch you up on what's been going on lately, and tomorrow's my birthday, so hopefully I can vlog on my birthday. See you guys later. Bye. Bye.